Although the recovery rate of COVID-19 is quite reassuring, yet the infection is far from over. Therefore, many efforts are being made across the world to develop a successful vaccine against the infection. Some of the vaccine candidates, including the Indian ones, are entering the last phase of clinical trials. But most of these vaccines, including the indigenous ones, are based on inactivated virus and nucleic acids. However, Delhi-based National Institute of Immunology, an autonomous institute under the Department of Biotechnology, Government of India, is working on a different path to develop a protein-based vaccine against the infection. This vaccine candidate is being developed to inhibit the spike protein of SARS-CoV-2 to inactivate the virus. The whole world is either doing a DNA vaccine or a RNA vaccine or a whole cell vaccine or a viral vector vaccine. So we thought of doing something different and in that concept we thought we will do a protein based vaccine. A protein which is part of for the uh, virus and many people are expressing this protein worldwide in eco in yeast, in baclovirus, in marble and cell. Uh, we had a strength of, of making this protein in E. coli because E. coli is one of the cheapest way of making. We thought, let's try with expressing this protein. So this is a protein produced in E. coli, a part of uh, spike protein. And we immunize with our patented uh, nanoparticle system. And that's what uh, we are. We are just in a very, very early stage of evaluating the immunogenicity of the vaccine in my model in our in Sukhali. National Institute of Immunology started working on this vaccine during the lockdown period. After identifying the protein candidate, researchers at the institute conducted immunogenicity study trials on mice and got encouraging results. The vaccine candidate not only stimulated an immune response but also produced antibodies effective enough to neutralize the virus. The institute is now conducting large-scale tests on mice and based on the result, it will seek permission to conduct the trial on monkeys. Outcome of these trials will determine the future action. For the last 42 days, we have been um, uh, changing the mice and breeding and analyzing. This is showing good immunogenicity and preliminary stage, it's neutralizing. It's neutralizing the virus. So we have very preliminary experiment done but we are very excited but because we could make it here and now we are repeating the experiment to prove that indeed this vaccine is not only immunogenic but neutralizing type. If you succeed in that, uh, we will do a detailed uh, neutralizing titer assay looking at the cell response, looking at memory response and probably we will go to monkey study in our own facility to evaluate whether this vaccine is indeed working or not. The research is supported by Department of Biotechnology. The institute has state-of-the-art facilities to pursue research in immunology and aims to serve the nation by developing a cheaper vaccine which can be made available to the masses. According to the researchers, the candidate may enter clinical trials in the next two to three months after crossing the initial stages successfully. Having an indigenous protein-based vaccine will strengthen India's COVID response as such vaccines generally have better track record in safety and efficacy.